Hello, welcome to my channel. Let's get right into it. First up this week are new videos from Tui over at Facebook. These are excellent videos with many jawline and neck pops, which happen to be my favorite. There are five videos in all. I am only showing small clips from the first four videos. The fifth video is of some amazing lip pops, among other things. I have included links to all five videos in the description. I notice many of Sac Depp's spa critics don't like that she uses a scalpel on most of her extractions. They want her to squeeze more without poking the pore. While some would come out with just a squeeze, her technique involves opening up the pores with a poke. The slit ensures the debris comes out of the pore and not back into the skin deeper. It also helps it come out without squeezing as hard, in general, because squeezing hurts way more than the cut. The slits heal fine and don't cause scarring at all, as some believe. She is cutting through the pore and epidermis layer of the skin, which will not scar. Cutting with a blade helps the debris come out better, and small cuts stimulate new collagen production, which leads to the improvement of the skin. Think micro-needling. Not exactly the same, but very similar. Even though it appears brutal with the blood and all, it is not as bad as it looks. You have to remember that we are watching very close up. If you look at the tip of the blade and compare the size to the letters on her sticker, it can help put the image in perspective and realize the cuts are really small. When you compare the size of everything to put it into perspective, you realize that the pimples are not as big as they seem. This is particularly amazing because the technicians in these videos don't even use magnifying glasses, yet they are still able to see all the tiny acne. This is Suzanne's favorite pop. She is one of our members here. Look at all those little blackheads in there. This clip is from a compilation channel called Dr. Furhey. You will also notice a tag with the name Pimple Satisfy. I suspect this belongs to Dutora Acne, but I am not sure. It really looks like her style. I can only credit a clip to where I find it unless I know 100% where it came from. That is one of the reasons I don't like compilation channels that don't credit the original owners. I don't know about you guys, but I love this style of using fingers wrapped in gauze, like Dutora Acne and Josepha Reina.
Here is another compilation channel called Remove Blackhead. Senior Acne is awesome. It is one of my favorite pops, and I know it is very popular with everyone else because one of my most played playlists is titled Elderly Acne. The way she pops these is entrancing. I love the fact that she just goes at it squeezing as much as possible. I can see a sticker on the glove, but only barely. I have slowed this clip down and enlarged it at many points, but I just can't read that sticker. If anyone knows who the original belongs to, please let us know in the comments. I just had to show you this nose by Kyun Guyan. I am sorry she doesn't show it popped. Maybe it looks better unsqueezed than the actual squeeze. This video from Hana Spa is so satisfying. There are a few lulls in the action, but overall it is very relaxing to watch. Be sure to go to the description area for the link to the full video to enjoy it as much as I did. The camera work does get a little shaky at times, but it is not enough to make you seasick. Hana has come a long way to become a great esthetician. She is thorough and neat. The only thing that bothers me about her technique is that she sometimes has this little twist at the end of her squeeze. It's a minor irritation, and I don't mind it too much now that she doesn't do it with every squeeze. There. That's the twist I was talking about. I have no idea why it peeves me. Simply Skin MD has a few great dilated pour of whiners on her Instagram page. She just started her YouTube channel in the last few days and doesn't have many videos up yet. I hope that changes. She is also on TikTok with the same name with all the same uploads as her Instagram. Go over to her YouTube and subscribe to encourage her to keep building her channel so we will have more interesting things to watch. These are my favorite pops. You know, I have a lot of favorites. I wonder if there are pops out there that aren't my favorites. Thuy Na Beauty and Spa has a great YouTube channel with over 200 videos to peruse. Sometimes when she has quick pops, she will leave them on the skin, just for a bit. Some people really don't like this. I mean, they will get hostile about it. They aren't worms, 
They can't crawl back in there. The debris isn't infected, and the skin shares the same flora, so there is no harm being done. Like I said before, the majority of pop watchers don't care for tools, me included, but a good pop is a good pop, and Tui has some great pops on her channel. She doesn't have many subscribers. Get the link in the description and go subscribe. Lonewen has this groovy little clip on Facebook this week. And also this YouTube video. I know, she does a lot of digging with that needle. Even though there are problems with some of her videos, there are some with really good pops. I watch all of her videos. Maybe not all the way through, but you still can find interesting pops. Some critics complain about everything she does, but she has been in business for a long time. She has before and after videos and pictures that prove her effectiveness. Just because you haven't seen things done a certain way doesn't mean it is the wrong way. This is the small clip on her Facebook. You gotta watch this. Another double comedone. It sucks the top one to the bottom. Zoop! Solone posted on her Facebook that she received the golden plaque from YouTube for one million subscribers. I don't know of any channel of hers with one million subscribers. I zoomed into that plaque and I can't find a channel with the name Lone Wen Spa. Do you guys know what channel this is? Let me know in the comments. That wraps it up this week. Be sure to comment and like and, well, you know what to do. Happy popping.